Hello, my name is Nathan Cummins. I'm a, a senior associate consultant in the Division of Infectious Diseases here at Mayo and an assistant professor in the Department of Medicine. This is Andrew Badley, who is a consultant in infectious diseases and a professor of medicine uh, in, at the Mayo Clinic. Uh, we have uh, written the uh, article, Can HIV Be Cured and Should We Try? So currently there's a lot of interest in trying to cure HIV and this interest has been sparked by one case where HIV has apparently been cured. That case was a gentleman who had HIV infection for long term uh, and underwent a bone marrow transplant for treatment of a leukemia. That bone marrow transplant involved an allo transplant and the donor had a uh, genetic deficiency in the CCR5 receptor. Now about five or six years after transplant, HIV cannot be detected. So current therapies for HIV are very effective at preventing viral replication. It does not, however, impact the number of cells that are contained within a human that has HIV in them. So while HIV therapy stops uh, HIV replication, it does not alter the burden of HIV in the body. And a person who has HIV in the body, especially if there is ongoing viral replication, can still transmit the virus to others. Therefore, attempts to block transmission uh, to date are predicated on reducing the amount of virus which is being replicated, uh, and that is treating patients with therapy, and also concepts such as pre and post exposure prophylaxis and preventing uh, mother to child transmission through effective and optimum timing of antiretroviral therapy. So with that case, there is a possibility that we might be able to recapitulate that cure in other patients. And so a variety of strategies are being tested. One strategy that's being tested involves genetic manipulation of the host cells in order to prevent HIV infection. And really there's two kinds of approaches that are occurring in the gene therapy realm. One is to knock down those post-cell proteins which are necessary for HIV replication, such as the CCR5 receptor. Another is to overexpress proteins which antagonize HIV replication, such as chimeric restriction factors and Prim5-alpha, et cetera. A second broad approach to trying to cure HIV is to augment the immune system so that it can control HIV. This includes categories such as therapeutic vaccination or immune-based therapies. Currently, there are trials ongoing over a variety of immune-based therapies including interferon alpha, interleukin-15, and other agents. A final category of uh, attempting cure falls into the category of reactivating the virus with the hopes that the cells that reactivate virus will die due to HIV cytopathic effects. When this is done experimentally, HIV can be successfully reactivated, but unfortunately most of the cells which reactivate virus do not die. Our lab has an interest in studying why that occurs, and we have some uh, ideas underway that are being tested uh, to, to alter the phenotype of the cells so that when virus is reactivated, uh, those cells will die. The current status of these attempts to cure HIV are all experimental at this point, but it's hoped that within a single digit number of years, we'll have proof of concept and be able to move these into broader clinical trials. And uh, with these uh, varied approaches, uh, as Andrew mentioned, uh, there are a number of early pilot clinical trials showing some uh, proof of concept uh, evaluations of biologic effect in people, whereas most of the data currently is in in vitro models and animal models of HIV infection. Uh, however, there are significant technical limitations, uh, as we describe in the paper, based on our knowledge of where HIV hides in the body and our ability to uh, target where the HIV virus hides in a specific manner. Uh, while we do believe that HIV should be cured for a number of reasons uh, as we discuss in the paper, uh, there are these significant limitations. Uh, eventually uh, attaining a widely applicable uh, cure for HIV will require a significant investment in time, talent, and resources. Uh, it is our opinion that while this is a laudable goal and should be pursued, that the larger research infrastructure involved in HIV research should not overshift resources towards finding a cure. Uh, instead, we should continue to fund adequately programs that we know work, including treatment as prevention, uh, preventative therapies, 
preventing mother-to-child transmission and um, getting more people on effective antiretroviral therapy. The study of HIV over the past several decades has witnessed an unprecedented increase in knowledge of both HIV biology and immunology. The advances that have been made have had great impacts in a variety of disease states, including malignancies, and we're optimistic that the research going on in HIV cure strategies right now will lead to new advances and hopefully cures in the near future. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.